Hi, boys and girls, Mr. Tim here. Today, I want to talk to you about sentence structure. I'm sure, as you guys already know, there are three basic types of sentence. Do you know what they are? The first one is called a simple sentence. A simple sentence has how many ideas? One idea. So, for example, we could say, Ethan, there's our subject, ate lunch. There we go. Ethan, subject, ate is the verb, and this is called the object. This, boys and girls, is a simple sentence. Now, the next kind of sentence is when we join two simple sentences together. Do you know what that's called? It's called a compound sentence. Com You've probably heard of compound words, I reckon. Compound sentences are two simple sentences joined together to form one sentence. And we use a special word called a conjunction to join simple sentences together. For example, we could say Ethan ate lunch. But he didn't enjoy it. There we go. That's a compound sentence. We've got one simple sentence here, Ethan ate lunch. We've got a joining word here, which we call a conjunction. And then we've got another simple sentence here, joined together. That's called a compound sentence. Now, a really good way to remember more of these words, which are called conjunctions, is to remember the acronym. You might have heard this at school. Fanboys. I'll do it in capital letters. Fanboys. F, F stands for for. A and N nor. B stands for but. O stands for or. Y is yet. And so is the last one. Fanboys. These words are called conjunctions. Now, the third kind of sentence, and these are the ones which will give you points when you do that plan. From about grade two on, you need to start to do more of these kinds of sentences, the next one. These sentences are called complex sentences. So complex sentences basically have two parts. They have one simple sentence which can go by itself, and then they have another part called a dependent clause that can't go by itself. I'll give you an example. So let's look at our sentence, Ethan ate lunch. And let's use a joining word, put that at the front. These are conjunctions as well. I'll talk to you more about these ones in a minute. But we can say, while Ethan ate lunch, comma, we could say his friends played, mm, I don't know, handball. How about that? His friends played handball. This is a complex sentence, boys and girls, because this can't go by itself. That is called a dependent clause. Dependent. That means it's dependent on this sentence. So it needs a simple sentence, which we call a main clause. This is a main clause. And this is a dependent clause. And when you put them together, it makes a complex sentence. There's lots of other words like while that you can use for complex sentences, words like when and after, before, although, 
unless and while these are all called they're actually called subordinating conjunctions if you really want to know so there you have it boys and girls today we've covered the three main types of sentences we've got simple sentences compound sentences and complex sentences i hope that helps i'll see you back in mr tim's classroom next time take care boys and girls bye